Okay, this doesn't make sense. This set has just come out and people are out here flexing a completed binder already. What is going on? Nah, 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 nah. I need to catch up. What is going on, people? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Sam's Pokedex. And yes, Crown Zenith is today's hot topic. So the set came out January the 20th and people have completed it already. That hasn't even been a month. What the hell? What's wrong with you guys? Are you guys not eating, spending money on food or living? You just buying Pokemon packs? Well, if you are, good on you. Because I like that. Who needs food when you got alt art? Huh? Who needs to eat? I just need glaring galleries. I don't need water. I got water energy. But guys, on the real, a lot of people have completed the set. God knows how many packs they've opened. But I'm still here chasing my chase card. What's going on here? Where are you at, Mewtwo? Or Zayshan? Or Zamazenta? Either one of them will do. I haven't even pulled a gold card. I haven't even pulled the Pikachu from the main set. What's going on? So that means today we're going to open up two ETBs and hopefully pull some cards we need. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, before we get into these packs, I do want to talk to you about Road to 400. That's basically me trying to get to my journey of 400 subs. I did that because subs are somewhere down there. Check it out. Um, so I'm giving back to everyone who helped me get to that journey. So by subbing, liking and commenting, I'm giving away gifts. Uh, as you can see down here, my first video, I give away three promos from the brand new Scarlet and Violet set. Um, in my other video, I'm giving away Evolving Skies Blister Pack. And in this video, I'm giving away all the Radiant cards from the new set, Silver Tempest, Radiant Serena, Radiant Alakazam, Radiant Jirachi. These are all gradable mint condition cards. And in today's video, all you have to do is sub to my channel, like this video, just comment down below which one's your favorite out of these three. That's it. As I mentioned before, when I hit 400, I'm gonna spin a wheel on all the competitions, pick multiple winners, multiple prize giveaways, and everybody's gonna win something. Like, everybody's gonna win something. It's gonna be crazy. So don't miss out, check out my last videos. I just comment down below on each of them to win a prize. That's it. All right, guys, if we look down below, we can see what products we're going to open today. We've got two Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Boxes. One of the first things I've noticed, though, is the price has dropped. So previous holiday sets, ETP prices used to be £52.50. It's actually gone down to £49.99, which is very good. But I do believe there's a price hike coming. So be wary of that, guys. The new Scarlet and Violet set might be a bit pricey. Right, I'm just going to rip into these boxes and we'll open to the packs. It's 20 packs. Let's go. Okay, cool, guys. If you look down below, I've ripped it. Ripped into the two ETBs. I put everything else in the ETB set aside. We know what comes in there. We've just got the packs, the player's guide to basically to separate which two different ETBs and the two promo cards. Let's have a look at the promo cards again because the Lucara V so you can never go wrong. I'm just looking at the centering to see which ones I can send to get PSA 10. And they both look decent, I guess. And you, well, you can see the back because some of the promo cards have a card behind it that you can't see the back. But they look decent. I'll probably look into those more details later on to find out which one I'm gonna send. Let's go guys, first pack, Crown Zenith. This, this holiday set has been a really fun holiday set to open compared to the others. Uh, Champion's Path, again, was not that many pulls. Shining Fates was good, it had the SV collection. But this got Galarian, baby. I'm trying to guess the energy, it's a V star. Okay, let's go into the straight, into it. Metang, Snow Run, Borneyard, Tangler, Wooloo, and you got a sit ooh, reverse of Turin and a regular a Yan Mega. You can see that this set has 159 cards in the main set. That's a lot of cards. And then it's got the Galarian. So you're gonna get quite a few pulls. If you're looking to complete this set, it will be a big set to complete. That's why I'm shocked how people have already completed this set. It's not even been out a month. So can you imagine how many cards you've opened? Couldn't even guess the energy. Right, Luxio, Ultra Ball, Electric, Shinx, Mr. Mime, Suncrim, Coughing, Bidoof, Reverse Holo Yad Mega. Oh my god! Yes! I finally pulled it! And it looks amazing! And it's so off center! What the hell? But finally! For the people that pulled this card, you guys know how cool it is in person. If you haven't, yeah, maybe just go buy it. Like, I was in, literally in two months. I was like, if I don't pull it in these two ETBs, I'm gonna have to buy it. I've opened like three, two, two, three ETBs, four or five collection boxes. Okay, great. We've we finally pulled the picture from the main set. So that's one of my chases out of the way. Would have been better with um, a better centering. I don't even want to look at the back because you can see how off center it is here. You can see how heavy that side is. But again, beautiful card picture with all his mates in the background. How many Pokemon are there? We're gonna have to go through and check how many Pokemon there are. Right, we'll keep that there. And the reverse is on that side. Get back into this. 
just didn't know what to do with it. I was like, wow, I pulled my chase card. Just leave all the other packs and not because no. I'm one of them fools that's trying to complete the whole set. So I'm gonna be here for a while. Unless some people just wanna trade. Well, a lot of people need to trade fire, Matt. Like, when I get all my doubles together, I'm gonna have to write a list and just be like, guys, we need to do some trades. Crowns are really expensive. So many more products coming out. Reverse Solid Graveler. And they've got these cool energy cards with the, you can see the energy type is one way and the other way should be a Pokeball. I can't see it on here. It could be like, no, I can see it. I don't know if you guys can. But yeah, that should be a Pokeball. I like um, Reverse Solid Energies and these are also numbered. There's 159 and 159. That's part of the main set, actually. Interesting. They brought back energies in the main set. I think the last time I had energy in a, in a set. Was it XY Evolution? Am I guessing that? There could be something after. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just happy I pulled a Pikachu. But I need a gold card. Uh, water. Or I really want the Mewtwo. I really want the Mewtwo. Um, and the Zayshan. And a gold card. Not being greedy. Just a few. Like I said, the one. Why, yo, that's nice. God, God, genius, Vigor. Look at that. Again, in person, it's so much more, so much more vibrant. I mean, on camera, you can see the shine on it and how much detail and texture is. Texture, ooh, a little bit, yeah. Really good card. Getting some good pulls in this ETB. And we finish with <laughs> regular red double. Let me sleep this up. 159 cards, like I said, you won't get bored of opening, you'll see a lot of Pokemon from all different um, regions. They bring them all together right now. Probably because the last Sword and Shield holiday set, so let's put together how many we, Pokemon we can. Fighting, fire. See, I was close because I was going to say F and F. Dusclops, Energy Switch, Coughing, Bidoof, Sandlit, Purloin, Grubbin. Oh, another glaring gallery. Wow, look at this Voltorb. Voltorb doesn't get that much love in Pokemon cards, but this Voltorb here, yeah. I'm glad they did Voltorb, because Electrode's everywhere. Let's give some love to Voltorb. And, ooh, a hollow Volcanion. So three hits so far. Three decent hits, actually, not bad. Got that Pikachu, I'm just happy about that. Let me just check one thing. Yeah, the sleeves are all there. Come. Just have to make sure I don't run out of sleeves while filming. How embarrassing that would that be? Although I did run out, so I've had to make an order and hopefully they come before my next video. Oh. Otherwise, I want to be unsleeving cards to sleeve cards. What kind of vicious cycle is that? Uh, water. Psychic? Because look, look how many um, different Pokemon we're pulling every time we open packs. Do you remember when you had like small sets back in the day and you'd be pulling the same card all the time? Okay, we've got another one. So you can see this one. It's hollow. It's not got the same texture and it's not numbered. So one is part of the set. One are just because they've got too much hollow in the factory. So they just want to print energy cards with hollow on it and give it to you in a pack and not give you a glaring gallery or a picture from the main set. Why do I do that? I want two pictures now. I'm greedy. I want another one. I want, oh, maybe one probably good century. Water. Ah, metal. What good centering one. Let's let's go for that. Slazzle, ooh, Pornyard, Crick Rot, Shinx, Mr. Mime, Sunkring, a Radiant Charabug, quite quite a few of these now. And Snorlax. Snorlax, a radiant charabug. Who loves who doesn't love a radiant card? As I said before, radiants have replaced amazing res. And I'm still a fan of amazing res. I think they should bring them back. They can't now, can they? I think they they they, they ruined it with the shiny face ones. Was it the was it the Kyogre and the um I can't remember the three they did for I think it was shiny face. I was like what what the hell? Like the vivid voltage one's beautiful. Fire, water, metang, shaman, friends. Who's got those? Raulu, Starly, Scyther, Pokeball. Reverse holo Heliloptile. Oh, and a Mew V. Is that the Fusion Strike Mew? I think so. I think I've got a couple of these as well. So, one, two, three, four hits. Four hits, okay. 
two Galarian is that? I think that's I think that's Galarian, it's not from the subset. Who doesn't love a Galarian gallery card? Or a trainer gallery card now? Uh water. Oh, for a second I thought it was water. It's like dark water when you're like deep in the sea. Bishop. Mogla. Love this. Chatot. Yanma. Oh my days, look at this bad boy. <laughs> Yoxie's Glaring Gallery. Oh my god, this is probably um, as much. I'm gonna say it completely wrong. This is as colourful and vibrant and exciting as the Oranguru in. Was it Brilliant Stars? Training Gallery, I think. But this. Oh my. There's so much going on here. What? I don't even know what's going on. It's so shiny and so. I'm getting blinded and. Okay, I'm gonna look into that in a lot more detail. But what a beautiful card. And a Scizor. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so these are like three, four pulls that I don't have from the set, so I'm really happy about. Look at that, great centering as well. Oh wow, that's amazing. That's a really nice card. All right, so last pack of the ETB. Do we count hollows as a hit? They technically are, because they say a hollow in a pack is a hit. Uh, fire. Soul Rock, Lost Vacuum, Luxio, Shinx, Corfish, Hornyard, Seal, Rockruff, Bow Toy Reverse Holo, and we finish on regular rare Zero Aura. Okay, so that's that's the first ETB. Let's put these to that side. Let's move on to the second ETB. We'll compare the pools at the end so we can compare both the ETBs and which one's better. These packs are way looser. From the it's funny how some packs are packed loose and some are tight. I don't get the method behind that. I'm sure it's all done by machine, so maybe the machine was just tired that day. Fire! Goddamn. Slazzle. Rare, oh my god. Rare Candy. Dust Clops. Grubbin. Screep. Haliloptal. Wulu. Shinx. Oh, bad boy. Feeble. Nice. I really like this one because it's like. It's, it's, it reba it, I feel like I'm in a detective movie just looking at that. You know the old school detective movies where everything's like black and white and just a little bit of colour? That's what it feels like. And a regular rare. Okay, so let's place these here so we can see them. Actually, the regular rare, I think, out of the way. The two from us can stay there. Second, yeah. Wow, very loose packs. How does that even work? These weren't airtight, probably. Is that how they do it? For um, fire, FNF, crushing hammer, like crushing my spirit right now. Ultra Ball, Oddish, Seal, very fun set. Also, if you're planning to keep stuff sealed, not purloin, and see, there you go. This is the textured one of the. F oh, how can I show you? It's not even coming up. But fire, it's got a fire symbol and a Pokeball symbol on the other way. I was going to say, if you're going to try and keep these cards, uh, this set sealed, there is a lot more products coming out. But I guess ETBs are good value for money. 10 packs and a promo. Uh, the tins are coming out very soon. They're going to be very good value for money. Uh, be careful though, tins, sometimes packs are squashed in there. So you don't want to buy a tin and have a pull, pull your card that's all squashed up. You'll be crying, emailing Pokemon like, why did you do this to me? They won't do nothing. I don't mind. Water, fire. So you can open or you can keep things sealed. Um, if you are going to plan to keep things, things sealed, don't worry, keep it ETB sealed. Open it when you're bored. No rush like me. Actually, I did have these two sealed for like a few days. Does that count? Purloin. Oh, wow! Another glary gallery. Cynthia's ambition. Wow, we're getting, some, we're getting some hits today, guys, in these videos. And regular rare whale lord. Uh, we are getting some hits very happy about that recently it's been kind of weird like everyone's pulling all the heat and i'm not pulling nothing it's like what's going on there some wizardry some hocus pocus but i'm back um maybe it's also the fact that guys people are opening like 20 etbs a day or some rubbish like or 10 etbs a day uh water take it and they're getting what they want i'm, I'm not really that guy i can't do that I'm opening one. This is two just because I've seen like, well, I want to get some cards graded. I want to complete some of this set. Reverse Hollow Mewtwo, very nice. And regular. And there's new products coming out. So 
I thought I'll keep one or two to be sealed. I'll have I'll open these to see what I get and then wait for the new product. There's no rush, guys. We've all done it before with CP and Shining Fates. We overbought, overbought, and then there was so much more print stock. I'm like, what are we doing? Fire! Don't do that. Don't do that. Pikachu box coming out with two promos. Oh, that looks beautiful. Grab that. Um, tins are coming out. God knows what else. Probably more collection boxes down the way. So yeah, there's so much more products of um, Crown Zen coming out. Wow! <laughs> Little tech there you go. Another one I needed. Yo, the detail in the food in this picture, insane. Absolutely insane. I don't know if it's because I'm hungry right now and I want to eat everything there, including the Pokemon, but that's crazy. So, oh, this is crazy. I'm so happy because I'm getting pulls that I haven't got from a main set right now. Oh, and a signature hop. All right, Ooh. cool. There's how many? Four or six signature cards in the in the in the main set, I think. I believe. Um, I need to look through that again. I need. To, do you know what, guys? Was when this is something funny. I don't even have a, have a binder for this set. I've just see, um, sleeved them and put them back in the ETP box until I wait for my binders to come. Water. Oh, basic blasters. And um, yeah. So I don't even know what cards I need. Like, obviously when I'm pulling the glaring galleries and, and stuff like big hits that I have not seen before, I'm like, oh yeah, I need this. But it could be a common and uncommon that I'm just like, oh, but I need it. Tangela, ah, oh, see, look, another one. Hollow, but not numbered, so not from the set. Berserker. So, these are just cool to have, I guess. Just holographic energies, right? They look cool. Like I said, I think Pokemon had this card sitting over and they're like, oh, let's take the glaring galleries out and just shove in some energies, some hollow energies. People are, people are going to love that. Who doesn't love a hollow energy? True say, growing up as a kid, that probably would have been the most craziest thing. Like, oh my God, it's a hollow. It's a shiny. We used to call them back in the day, shiny cards. Uh, water. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got a shiny child. Sh That's what we used to call it, shiny cards, you know. I don't think I could bring that back because the majority vote is probably hollow right now. Ooh. Regular it and then reverse hollow. But yeah, shiny cards. So hearing hollow and stuff, but when I got back to the collection, I was like, wow. So I think that was a I don't I'm I do not want to say it was an American term, but I didn't hear anyone in the UK calling them hollows growing up. Um fire. Okay, maybe not. Luxio, Metang, Shaman, Perloin. And if you guys are excited about the new set Scarlet and Violet, it's coming out in March as well, I believe. So there's a lot more Pokemon stuff coming out. So, ooh, Rotom V. Be prepared, guys. Be prepared. Remember we had that? I think we got like a um, little break right now from, from Pokemon sets. So we're like, what do we do? What do we buy? Maybe that's why people have completed this set already because they've just literally been open this... Um, these packs every day until uh, since they've come out. I don't know. They're still under a month. Wild. Under a month, you know. I got sets from two years away and completed. That's crazy. Water. Yes, I don't know how you're doing this. What well, I do know because it's costing me a lot of money and mental health, but each to their own. I like what Leon Hart does. Lost Vacuum. He will literally keep. Wow, it's a nice orange crew. Um, regular rare. Um, he will literally open packs, open packs, open packs until he pulls what he's got. And I like that because I'm trying to do that as well. I might do a few trades here and there, but majority of the time I like pulling um, pulling the cards. Like I'll still pull um, open Darkness of Blaze packs to get some cards from that set because I still need to complete the master set just because. It's funny because we've got two, we really had two V-Stars this set. Not bad. Soul Rock, last pack guys of the second Crown Zenith ETB and we're going to finish on a Rolu and this is amazing because this is um, its own kind of artwork you've got like nine cards that make up this artwork and I believe this will be on the left because it's looking that way so you have one two three four him do do and do 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 that was so bad at explaining but yeah you hopefully understood and we finish on a hollow argon and we sleep that up. Actually, let's put these pools together and those pools together and let's see what we come back with. All right, guys, I've grouped together the best pools from both ETBs. Let's go through them. So in the first ETB, we've got a hollow energy, not from the set. 
Then we got a hollow energy from the set, a Mew V, Mew cards are always beautiful, a Radiant Charabug, a Suin Voltorb from the Glaring Gallery, a Gardenia's Vigor, we got a, a beautiful card, Glaring Gallery again, a Deoxys, is probably my favourite pool. Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, that's not my favourite pool because my favourite pool is after this. This beautiful peach from the main set. I know everyone probably pulled it, but I'm so happy I pulled it. Um, so that's the ETB. Let's look at this one. Same here. So we've got an energy not from the set. We got an energy from the main set. We got a Rotom V card. Raulu, uh, part of the nine subset, its own subset kind of picture thing. Uh, another glaring galley, Feeble. Beautiful, again, I'm so happy I got this card because I don't have it in my set um, and now I do. Um, Glaring Galley Milk Tank. And a Cynthia's Ambition, which is a really another nice card. I don't know if I have it, but look at the artwork, man. This is crazy. Like, pictures do say a thousand words right now because I can tell a story from there. So in the first ETB, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six, if you want to include that, seven hits. Seven hits, I'd say. And then from the other EP, ETB, one, two, three, four, five, six. So not bad, seven out of the first one, six out of the second one, it's more than 50% 10 pack. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Guys, also do not forget to enter my Road to 400 giveaway. Uh, today's video is giving away all three Radiant cards. Simply subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down, back, comment down below, sorry, which one is your favorite out of these three. And I'll pick a winner when I hit 400. Don't forget to go to my previous videos. I'll put them in the end of this video. You can subscribe and like, comment on that video to win the new promos from Scarlet and Violet. And the other video to win Evolving Skies Blister Pack. You can win all of this and there's gonna be a lot more coming up, guys. There's a lot more coming up. So pay attention, stick around, keep your eye out for my new videos and hopefully you'll win something when I hit 400 subscribers. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon at Sans Pokedex. Peace.